So, continuing on. All of his co-workers were gone. All of my co-workers are gone. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the What's meeting. That noise? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's raining outside or something, but inside. It's weird noise. Uh, I'm going to do what I did before. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to yes. the meeting room. And I'm going to go up the stairs, not down well. the stairs. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. But eager to <laughs> get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his back left. Back to business is right. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yes, I did. Yet okay, everybody, thanks for coming. I'll try to make this quick. I know we want to get back to our family. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Yep. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That's where I'm going. Not that one. Am I? This isn't the same office. This is a different office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ah! Shocked, unraveled, what Stanley cool wondered officer. in disbelief I wish this was my office. who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Which is... 2845. Two, but of four, course, five. Stanley couldn't pop yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons yes! on the keypad. Stanley uh -oh. had to input the correct code by sheer luck. Woohoo! Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What newly opened passageway? Oh, this newly opened passageway. Hello. I want to fall down there. Lifts. What's down this way? There's always another way to go. Oh no, there isn't. <laughs> I think I turned backwards into that as well because I was afraid I was going to miss something happening. <laughs> going down. Express elevator to hell. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mystery investigating. I think, I don't know how many episodes this has been, but this, this is the first time I feel like I've actually made any progress. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door ah. that read Mind Control Facility. Um, Mind Control Facility. Or Escape. Oh! Escape. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? <laughs> no, I've... No, I don't believe it. He's saying that because he doesn't want me to go down there. That's why he's saying it. The door behind him A little was bit not scared. shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. <laughs> yeah, I'm, At this point, I'm not gonna Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Well, I, I have hope that this is not going to kill me. This is, uh, I'm going to be good. Really? <laughs> yes! I knew I wouldn't die. You can't kill Stanley! Nobody As kills Stanley! Motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected oh that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. 
I did it perfect. Story I did it perfect. Ever in his narrow vision of what this is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and Plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Farewell, Stanley. No. No! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Um. This is weird. Why was I spared? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as <laughs> no. alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. I've never trusted the narrator. I'd, like, I'd just like to point out, I actually like this narrator better. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Um, if you say so. This is uh, strange. The two doors. Let's see, this is like the museum of Stanley's parable. Button sounds. Nice. Ah, credits. Well, credits are always kind of a good sign because uh, it means you've concluded something. Maintenance room. Okay, so this is a museum. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. This action would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. This is nice and relaxing. I mean, I'm still not progressing in my mystery investigation, but I like it. and gloves. Narrator emails. Uh. Phone. I feel like this museum feels like the kind of place that is going to have tons of crap hidden in it. Because it's so big and confusing, but I just want out. <laughs> I just want it to end. I want to continue <laughs> progressing. Maybe I can't, maybe that maybe that's it, maybe this is the end. Narration outtakes. I want out of the game! <laughs> I might have to restart. Freedom ending? The freedom ending is what I want! How do I get there? Freedom is all I've ever wanted. There's gotta be a way out of here. Exit, exit, exit. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Kill the power!
Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. What? Push escape and press no. quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I should have pressed escape. I think it's over. <laughs>